Hello there. My name is Patrick. Patrick Vitatore. An episode or two ago, we talked about how do we attract good human resource, human capital. Then how do we nurture it? How do we grow it? How do we feed it so that it is really good? And lastly, how do you retain it? Because when you train people and they are very good, the bigger companies want to take them. They, they are always looking, scanning for talent. You look at how you recruit them. The first part is the recruitment. You need to be thorough in your recruitment processes. And many people recruit somebody just because they've got good grades or they can do a job well. But you've got to look at their attitude. How good are these people? What happens on a sunny day is not what's going to happen on a rainy day. How do they behave under pressure when there's a panic or there's a fire? How do they respond to their colleagues? Do they watch out for them? Are they true leaders? If you do good recruitment, 90% of your problems or 85% of your problems are solved because you've done the right job. That's why the person who lets in the person, the, 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 the resource, the human resource that you are attracting, is key. Because you get it wrong there, you end up with a mediocre company. The more mediocre staff you bring in, the more mediocre the company will be. I use this word ruthlessly because you recruit mediocre people, you get a mediocre company. Why do I say so, so ruthlessly? Not with pride, but because when you look at football as a game, why do we look at the European football team? The teams that play there, we follow them very vigorously. We are avid supporters of one team or the other. Whether it's a British one or a Spanish one or Italian one, the European League, people follow the players there. Why? Because they are so good at what they do. It's a team of 11, just like the team in Uganda. Not just Uganda, maybe in your local village is a football team, but you don't follow them. Why? Because they are not the best human resource. You've got to attract the best. Train them, nurture them, retain them. You pay a high price to take them from one club to another. Now, that's the same in business. The same rules apply. And when the team doesn't do well, who's the first one to go? The coach. Whoever hired them, you must have made a mistake. Whoever is overseeing them, you don't replace the goalkeeper just because they've scored so many times. You go for the coach. You go for the team manager. The owner makes that shot quickly because he needs a team that delivers. Now, you've got to look at business the same way as sports. These are super athletes. They are paid top price. They are expected to do wonders on the pitch. People like Messi, once he's got a, a ball and he's near the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper is in trouble. There's no goalkeeper that will be able to stop him. That's why you have all these people in defense to try and get him before he's left with the goalkeeper. Because that ball will go anywhere and will be inside. Behind he knows it's in the net. So you've got to be very careful. Henri, Ronaldo, dangerous people, completely lethal once they're left at the front line with a ball. Now, you've got to think about business like that. Who are your closers? Who are the people who do a deal for you, who do the business for you, and close and make sure the business is running well? You need to attract those kind of people to make sure that they run the business well. Now, it's a different set of skills. In the hotel business, it's about courtesy. It's about service. It's about reliability. It's about consistency. The beds, the kitchen, the food, everything in the business has got to be looked after. So you need the person with the right temperament to be firm enough to make sure the system is working like perfect behind, but at the front, you are very gentle. So that balance of being tough and almost German-like precision, breakfast will be ready at 6 a.m., not at 5.30 or 7.30 or 8.30. If it's 6 a.m., breakfast must be ready. Whichever guess, even if there are one or two, they'll find the buffet ready. If you're staying open till 11 at night, you must be open till 11 at night. Don't say, today I'm tired, I'm closing business early. You've got to have a system that works and delivers all the time in the same way. Quality of the food is consistent. Quality of the drinks is consistent. Quality of the service is consistent. These things must always be there, and that depends largely on your human capital. Now, we as a country, Uganda, probably as a region, East Africa, fall way behind some of the performers, some of the human capital in other regions. Why, if you're assembling, let's say, TVs, will one Chinese be able to assemble 30 TVs in a day, and in Uganda, the same person, or one person does only three TVs? What is it that's different? How can the gap be so big? in our work ethics, in our culture. Even with time, you've been doing the business for six months, but you find that they are more practical, they are more robust. Is it because of population pressure? Is it because of their work ethic? Even in Nigeria, where there's so much competition, out of the 100 million people fighting for jobs, when they come here, they run circles around us. I went to do business there, and I found those people much more aggressive in everything they do. There's a lesson to be learned. We've got to come out of our comfort zone. We've got to work harder. We've got to compete to survive. I think, in a way, being gifted by nature spoiled us. We didn't have to try that hard. Everything was available. But now with population pressure, people are beginning to wake up. They have to be competitive. You have to work harder. 
So we've got to do a lot more in that area of human capital. We've got to attract the right people and make sure they have the right attitude. Attitude is key. Thank you very much. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe, share this video, and let the young people of the region, not just Uganda, know what you have learned today. I hope it has been useful. Thank you very much.